All right. Um, I feel like we're all, we're used to running late now. So people join late, maybe. Um, can you mute yourself? Because I'm hearing sound from your end. But anyway, um, if you got everything you need, come stand at the front of your mat and soften your gaze or close your eyes. Just let your hands, your arms simply dang in by your sides. Relax your shoulders. Maybe just let the weight drop into the soles of your feet. Everything relax. Hear the sound of your breath. The rise and fall of your rib cage, your shoulders. Explore the connection of between the crown of your head and the sky above you. Maybe start exploring, shifting weight between your feet. Gently swing side to side. And maintain that connection between the sole of your feet with whatever underneath you, taking your weight, supporting you. Feel the back of your legs start opening while you are shifting around. Maybe add some shoulder shrugs, just bring them up. And squeeze your shoulder blades together. Bring your shoulder heads forward and up. Maybe switch direction if you enjoy it. Have you found your wood dry breath yet? Have you started bringing some some of the quality into your breath? For those who is not familiar with some of the the breath that you match the length of the inhale with exhale, with any kind of length. What it's like to match the length of your breath when you're standing compared to usually when you're lying down or in a seated pose. anything that you'd like to bring into today's practice with you. Could be a word, could be a person. Or just simply let the practice bring to you whatever that comes along. When you're ready, 
Cast your gaze down, slowly blink open your eyes. Inhale and raise up your arms toward the sky. Gaze between your palms. Continue your Samavritti breath. Engage your quads. Lift your knees toward your hip socket. Each inhale, reach your fingertips tall. And exhale, let your shoulders naturally fall down a little bit. Let the heat being built up within you along with your breath. Grow the side waist on both sides. Inhale, big inhale. And right hand grab your left wrist, side bend to the right, with the exhale. Take a long inhale. And exhale, come back to center, switch the grab, and side bend to the left. Come back to center, press your palms together, open your throat toward the sky, create some mini back bend here, sway your head side to side, and maintain straight legs and hinge forward, fold over your legs, Uttanasana. Hold your elbows with up the hands. You swing side to side, inviting more space into your hamstrings. Share your head, yes. Whatever is suitable for yourself in this moment. to release your hands to the floor. Keep your right hand down, straight your left leg and extend your left hand toward the sky. Stack your left shoulder over your right. And release your left hand down, switch side, straighten your right leg and extend the right hand toward the sky. Right hand down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on your shin, lengthen your spine. And exhale, step right and left, come to high plank. Hold long breath on, in your high plank. Wrist right underneath your shoulders, press through your heels. One straight line from your heels to your pelvis, your spine the back of the head. Tap your right knee down, bring it back up. Tap your left, bring it back up. Twice more on each side. Engage your center. Both knees down, keep your upper body as plank. Bend your elbows, hug your elbows in, and release all the way down to your belly. Bring your hands to the side, and press your palms down, thumbs up. Inhale, lift your chest up, Shalabhasana. And exhale, release down. One more time. Inhale, lift your chest up. Maybe this time lift your palms and the top of your feet up as well. Reaching through the, the, your big toes and your fingertips toward the back. While lengthening the crown of your head toward the front. And exhale, release down, hands by your chest. 
towards your table, a high plank. Press your hands toward the sky. We have made an Aspamukhasurana Asana, downward facing dog. If this is your first down dog today, feel free to add any movements to invite more flexibility into your hamstrings. Whenever you find your stillness in your downward facing dog, round your back up, rock forward to high plank, lower your knees down, come to the table. Adjust your hands to make sure your wrists are right underneath your shoulders and your knee joints are right underneath your hip sockets. Maintain a neutral table. Inhale, lower your belly, open your chest. Next, around your back, come to cat. Inhale, Vitilasana, cow pose. Spread your collarbones. Next, around your back up, Vajrayasana, cat pose. Continue on your own. You can also add any other movements with your hands. Maybe flip your palms, your fingertips, point your knees. Maybe fingertips pointing outside. Simply have fun with the exploration. Activate some of the muscles that you don't usually use. Maybe even come up to the top of your hands. Add any circles on your wrist. When you are ready, come back to neutral and extend your right leg back. Roll your right ankle. And swing it out a little bit. Bring it back to center. And swing it out. Bring back to center. Maintain that one straight, strong right leg. Press the back of your right leg toward the sky. And make sure that you're not lifting too much weight away from your right hand. Your weight are still evenly distributed into both hands, maybe even more on your right since your focus are a little bit flying away from it right now. Maybe draw some circles with the right leg. Create more space in your right hip socket. And when you're ready, flex your right foot. Swing your right leg to the right side. And bring it back to center. Bring your both palms one hand point forward. Tuck your left toe and lift your left knee up. And straighten your back, your left leg. Come to down dog split. Keep that right leg straight. Point the right finger, right toes toward the ground. Maintain that right leg straight. Lower it down slowly until you almost touch the floor. Then you bend the right leg and step it between your hands. Find your blocks if you have them. Inhale. Open your chest. Next, uh, straighten both legs, variation of pyramid. Fold over your front leg. Inhale, pull forward to run as lunge. Next, uh, straighten both legs. One more time. And back to run as lunge. Drop your back knee down. Inhale, raise your arms up by your ears. Release your shoulders down. Right hand on your hips. And side bend to the right. 
Tuck both legs towards the center. Come back up. Release your hands down and straighten your front leg. Half split. Keep your left hand down and raise your right hand toward the sky, twisting to your right. Play around with your right ankle. Get more sensation out of the back of your right leg. And release your right hand down. If you have both blocks, maybe hand on both blocks. Maybe try to lift your right leg up a little bit. Bend back to low lunge. Lift your back knee up. And step forward, fold over your legs. Inhale, hand on your shin, lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold over your legs. Go up. Left hand, grab your right and side bend to the left. Come back to center. Side bend to the right. Come back to center. Press your palms together. Find your back bend with straight legs. Pressing strongly into both feet. And exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, step left and right. Come to high plank. Three long breaths in your high plank. Reaching long to the crown of your head. Pull your navel. Towards your spine, your pelvis towards your navel, and while pushing away your heels, tap your left knee down, bring back up, tap your right down. Let's do faster. And release both knees down, bend to your elbows. Come all the way down to your belly. So, from here, instead of Shalabhasana, extend your arms by your ears. Now lift the chest and your arms up. And exhale, release down. It's almost like Superman. One more time with both arms and legs up. And exhale, release down, hands by your chest, push to your table or high plank. Come to downward facing dog. Atta Mukha Shonasana. Since this is your second time here, maybe you're a little bit more familiar with it now. Press your chest towards your thigh bone. Rotate your biceps towards the front. Maybe roll the back of your legs, your inner thighs, towards each other. Are you practicing pose only for the pose? Rock forward, the high plank, lower both knees down, come to table pose. Inhale, extend your left leg back, keep it straight, add some circles with that straight leg, invite some space into the left socket, hip socket. Try to bring your right hip towards the center and start leaning towards the right. Maybe shift it out of the side a little bit. Start slowly bring your left leg towards the left side. Bring back to center. Bring hands, one hand point forward. Tuck your right toes. 
and straight your right leg down dog split point your left toes toward the ground low left leg slowly down toward the ground enter almost to the floor then bend your left leg step it between your hands find your runner's lunge inhale open your chest next exhale pull your hips back straighten both legs and help come back forward next exhale pull hips back straighten both legs fold over your left leg one more time forward next exhale pyramid variation Back to runner's lunge, drop your back knee down, and inhale, arms up. Next, so you can grab your wrist or left hand on your left hip and side bend to the right, left. Hug your thigh bones toward the midline. Come back to center. Your hands down and straighten your front leg. Your right hand down on the floor and lift your left hand up, twisting to the left side. Release your left hand down. Maybe try to point your left toes, press your left sole of your left foot towards the floor. Maybe even lift the floor, left leg up a little bit. Release it, come back to low lunge. And step forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Next, exhale, fold over your legs. Slowly roll up, Urdhva Hastasana. Next, uh, hand to your heart center by your side, Tadasana. We'll move through a, a couple of rounds, three rounds of Sun A, Surya Namaskar A. If you're familiar with it, go ahead with your own pace. Or if you have other traditional Sun salutation, feel free to include them. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs, Uttanasana. Lengthen your spine, auto Uttanasana, and exhale, step right and left, high plank, inhale, slightly move forward, and exhale, fold over, bend to your elbows, you can come all the way down to your belly, inhale, Bhujangasana, baby cobra, or you can extend your arms up to Urdhva Mukheshwanasana, upward facing dog, and exhale, Push your hips up to downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath here. We're back to down dog. Are you still practicing down dog for the sake of down dog? Are you practicing yourself in this pose? Bottom the next exhale. Bend your legs. Looking forward, step by step, a hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Next up, fold over your legs. Now row up to Urdhva Hastasana. Next up, hand to your heart center by your side Hastasana. Two more rounds on your own. We're using all these postures just as a way of us that discovering the capital self within our within us our body it's just a temple that our spirit lives in so when you're on the mat maybe ask yourself are you only practicing the Postures. The way we handle the pose, the ones that you like, the way we don't like, the way we have difficulty with, it all reflects how we live in this world beyond this mat. So, 
how you practice with those poses. Are you gonna bring those off the mat with you? Into this round, and in the next round, we have made a downward facing dog. Very tired, maybe come down to child pose. Be kind to yourself. From down dog, bring your feet together. Lift your right leg up. Down dog split. Don't walk your hands toward your left foot. standing split. The right leg straight. Maybe maintain the straight and lower it down to almost touch your right wrist and bring back up. High small like that. And next time when it's full down, bend your left leg and come standing with your right leg bending. You keep your hands on your hips. You can raise them up by your ears. Extend your right leg long, bend it back in. Extend it long. One more time like that. Keep it straight. Maybe even pulse it up a little bit. And step forward, soft bend into your right leg. You can adjust your stand, come to high lunge. Straighten your both legs, reach your arms long. And exhale, bend into both legs and twist to the right, open your arms. Swing your right arm forward and up. Straighten both legs and bend into your right. Oh, it's a beautiful bird. One more time like that. Next time when you're up, maybe bring your back foot slightly in and hinge over your hips, fold over your front leg, come to pyramid pose. From pyramid pose, inhale, lengthen your spine. Next, so bend into your right leg. Left leg, left hand down and reach your right hand up. Simple twist. Roll your rib cage open, open for the sky. Keep pressuring your left hamstring toward the sky as well. Just slowly walk your right foot toward the center of your mat. Also, back or stagger it over your left foot. Come to side plank. Option to stay here. And also lift your right foot up. Right hand down. Carefully come back to high plank. And lower down to your right elbow and your left, the forearm plank. 
dip your right hips down, everything else stay the same. And dip your left hip down. Come back to center. Engage your, center, your core. And lower everything down except your chest. Keep the springs closed. Your elbows right underneath your shoulders. Pull your hands towards your elbows while reaching your feet towards the back. Open your chest. And release down, hands by your side. Push to your table, high plank. Come to downward facing dog. Bring your feet together. Lift your left leg up. Down dog split. And walk your hands towards the back. Standing split, standing strong through your right foot. And lower that straight left leg down to touch your left wrist. And bring back up. Twice more like that. Next time when it's low down, bending to your right leg, you come standing up. Hands and can be on your hips. Uh, raise them up toward the sky by your ears. Release your shoulders away. Extend your left leg. Step your left foot forward. Bend it in. Step your left foot forward. Bend it in one more time. Maybe pulse it up a little bit. And soft land with your left foot. Bend into your left leg. And step your right foot back, come to high lunge, straighten both legs, reaching through your fingertips top, and bend into both legs, tap your back knee down, open your chest towards the left side, swing your left arm forward and up, straighten your both legs, let's uh, come lowering down, twisting to the left, one more time like that. Bring your back foot slightly in a little bit. Reach your arms long and hinge over your head. Fold over your left leg. Pyramid it pose. Inhale, reach long through the crown of your head. Next, you'll bend into your left leg. Straighten your back leg. Right hand down, left hand up. Simple twist. Roll open your rib cage. And walk your left foot to the center of your mat. Or stack it over your right foot in the side plank. Option to stay here. You can try to lift your top foot up. Release your left hand down, come to high plank. This time lower down your left forearm first and then right. Twist your hips to the left, dip your left hips down. And back to center on the other side. Lower your pelvis down, come to strength pose. Push into the forearms. Press into the top of your feet. Reaching through those toes while pressing the back of your legs toward the sky. Bring your hands by your rib ribcage and press through your high plank and push to downward facing dog.
feel free to come down to child pose anytime when you feel like you need to. Whenever you're ready, we'll meet a down facing dog again. And down dog, bring your feet back together in the center. And lift your right leg up. Walk your hands all the way back to standing split again. Or walk them halfway. So your shoulder is almost stacking over your wrist. You can practice some standing um, handstands half here. Where you are, soft bend into both legs. And bring your right knee into your chest. Hands on your hips. Option to just did what we just did. We did in the last round. Stepping straight your front leg. You can also use your right pea fingers, grab the right big toe, and step the right leg forward. Release that bind if you have it. Reach your arms long. Step it forward. Bend into your right leg. Inhale, reach through your fingertips. Straighten both legs. Next, exhale. Bend into both legs. Open to the right. Come back up. Step your back foot slightly in. And fold over your right straight leg. Let your torso rest on the top of your right thigh. Inhale, halfway lift. Maybe left hand on the floor, on the block. And raise right up your right hand toward the sky. Revolve pyramid. Feel that brings more sensation into your right hamstring and release your right hand down bend into your right leg left hand down come up to the pinky edge of your left foot and step directly to side plank this time maybe this time Lift your right leg up and swing it forward just like when we're standing. And bring back one more time like that. Release your right hand down to high plank. Lower down to your right elbow and your left. Quickly dip both hips one more time. And lower your pelvis down to springs pose. Hands by your chest. And push to Atta Mukha Shwanasana, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together in the center. Lift your left leg up. You can walk the standing split. And also like last time, walk your hands halfway. So your shoulders are stacking over your wrist and do some headstand hop. Make sure that you're landing lightly with control. And bend into your right leg and bring your left knee into your chest. You can have a strap helping you here. Either strap or left the peace fingers. Grab your left foot, big toe, and step it left foot straight forward. Release the bind if you have it. Arms by your ears. 
and carefully step it down, bend into your left leg. Straighten both legs and then tap your right knee onto the floor, open to the left side. Come back up, step your right foot slightly in. Hinge over your legs, fold over your front leg. From pyramid pose, the right hand on the floor or on the block, straighten your left leg, lift your left hand toward the sky, revolve pyramid. And bend into your left leg. Simple twist. And step your left foot back to side plank. Lift your left leg up. And bring it in front of your face. Back to stacking of your right. Bring it to forward. Release your left hand down and lower down to your left elbow and your right. Dip your left hip and dip your right. Lower your pelvis down. Sphinx pose. And exhale, hands by your chest. This time push to child pose. Take a quick break in child pose. You can also bring your arms by your side into embryo pose. Just let your shoulders natural fall. How's your body reacting to the sequence? How's your mind reacting to the sequence? And which one of them reflects more about you? Which one of them you're practicing here? Whenever you're ready, we'll meet a downward facing dog. your feet together. You can lift your right leg up, come to standing split or do this handstand hop. Or if you like to just give handstand a try, maybe find the nearby wall. Bring your feet close enough so your shoulders are stacking over wrist. Lift your right leg straight. You can also bend your right leg, but your right heel still point to the sky. And step the right foot into the ceiling. Keep your row ribs in, so it's not too much of back bend. Pushing into your palm reaching through your heels. Wherever you are, you'll meet as standing with your right knee into your chest. You will know if you need a strap, especially if you used it in the last couple of two rounds. Left piece fingers, 
for the strap around your left foot, your right foot. And step your right leg forward and open your right arm to the right side. Twisting to the right. And it's definitely helpful with the strap here. Step your right foot forward into the high lunge. Straighten both legs. Lower left knee down, open your arm to the right. Come back up to higher lunge. Step your back foot forward a little bit. And hinge, make sure that your left hip and your right are leveled. Arms up by your ears. And hinge over your hips and lower Fold over your right leg to your mid. From pillar to mid, keep your left hand on the ground or on the block and raise up your right hand up. Revolve pyramid. From here, to move the block, you have it slightly forward, bend into your right leg, and lift your back leg up, straighten your right leg, press up left hamstring towards the sky, revolve half moon. Lower your back foot down, bend into your right leg, left foot, hand, left hand down, simple twist and step your right foot over your left. Lift your right foot. Bring your right foot close to your right hand. And step your right leg forward. Release the bind you have it. Right hand down. Come down to your right elbow and your left. Dip your right hip and back to center and dip your left. Come back to center and lower your pelvis down. Find your strength pose. Maybe just close your eyes for a short moment. It is strength pose different from last one after different sequence. Not exactly different, but we're still activating the same muscle groups. by your chest, push to your table, and do a downward facing dog. Bring your feet together, and try to get to handstand hub or standing split again, and also find the wall. And again, and try and stand on the other side. Make the best choice for your own practice.
wherever you are. I'm standing on your right leg with your left knee hugged in. Use a strap around the ball of your left foot. I use your right piece finger. Grab the big toe of your left foot. And step your left foot forward. Extend your left hand toward the back, twisting to the left. They have the bind, release it. Arms over your ears. And lightly step your left foot down. Come to high lunge. Straighten your both legs. And bend into both legs. Tap your right knee down, open to the left side. Back to high lunge. Bring your right knee, right foot slightly forward. And hinge over your hips. Fold over your left leg. Right hand down on the floor or on the block. Lift your left hand up. Revolve pyramid. From here, you can bend into your left leg and move your block slightly forward and lift your back leg up. Everything else stay the same. Revolve half moon. Bend into your left leg. Give a twist. Put the block aside if you don't need any more. And step your left foot over your right. Side plank. Lift your left leg up. Bend it into your chest. Grab your left toe, big toe with your left hand or with a strap. And step your left foot forward. Release the bind. Left hand down. Left elbow down and right elbow. Dip your left hip. Dip your right. Come back to center. Lower your pelvis. Come to the strength pose. Close your eyes. For a short moment. Maybe leap your knees, knee caps away from the floor by engaging your quadriceps and press your hamstrings toward the sky. Pushing into the top of your feet. Open your chest. And hands by your chest. Push to child pose. to table. Extend your right leg long and bring your bend your right leg and bring it between your hands. Arms up, come to low lunge. Lower down your pelvis. Maybe press your palms together. Find your back bend in this low lunge. Hands down. Straighten your front leg, come to half split. Option to stay here. You can also, I like using um, a tower for me um, to pat my heel when I do this. Hanumanasana, monkey pose. So from half split, slide your right foot forward.
whatever point that you are not creating pinch in your low back. If you have block, it's a good idea to have a block underneath your right thigh. When you find your stable foundation, maybe raise up your arms by your ears. One more long inhale. And exhale, hands down. To get out carefully, drag your right foot slowly towards you. and step back to table pose. That right side of the hamstring might feel really different from the left right now. It's an intense pose. Extend your left leg back and step your left foot between your hands to low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Lower your pelvis down, find your back bend. Press into that right shin and the left heel. Hands down. Straighten your front leg. Find your half split. It's totally fine if you decide to stay in this half split. If you decide to come to Hanumanasana on this side, slide your left foot slowly forward. Don't use momentum, you might hurt yourself that way. Only to the point that you're not creating too much discomfort. Slide a block underneath your left inner thigh. find a strong foundation. Maybe raise up your arms. Whenever you're ready to come out, slowly drag your left foot towards your center. Step it back to table and come to sit on your hips. How do you feel with your hamstrings? Um, we're gonna do some counter pose with that. Bend your right leg, bring your right foot to the left side of your hip. And bend your left foot, your left leg over your right. Come to um, half lot of the fishes. Right hand behind you, left hand outside of your left knee, and twist to the right. Keep your spine straight and strong. Reaching long to the crown of your head, strong your spine. Press all the way down into your sit bones. Especially your left sit bone might be having a tendency of being lifted up right now. Maybe try to press it down. Come back to center. Left hand down and side bend to the left. Right arm over right here. Swing to the other side, right hand down, left arm over the left ear. Back to center, switch side, 
Bend your left leg in the bottom. And your right foot outside of your left knee. Left hand behind you. Bring your right elbow outside of your right knee. Twist to the left side. Reaching long through your spine. Press the right sit bone into the ground. Right hand down, extend your left arm over your left ear. And swing your left hand down and right arm over your right ear. Come back to center. Both feet down, bend your leg, extend your arm forward. You can lift your knees up. So your shins are parallel to the ground if you want some last minute on um, core work. And round your upper back and tuck your chin towards the chest. And slowly roll down all the way to your back. Extend the arms overhead. Reaching long to your legs. Bring your left feet, bring your heels close to your sit bones. This point, if you like the support in your bridge pose, Sadhubandha Sabangasana, lift your hips up and slide the block and then it's your sacrum. And always use some support sometimes. And this and if you just have a lot of energy to burn. Slide it out. You bring your right right ankle over your left knee. Continue press the pelvis toward the sky, and the right knee toward the ground. Lower down your hips, and lower your right foot and your left knee to the left side. Gaze over your right shoulder. You can extend your right arm out, left hand out, supine twist. Just let your natural breath fall back to you. That went open and open. Breathe into the back of your right shoulder. Even start softening your gaze if you haven't done so. And actually come back to center. Place your right foot down. Come back to your bridge. You can come back to your supported bridge if you want, if you like to. You can also bring your left ankle over your right knee. Press that left knee down. Release the hips down. And just let your left foot and your right arm falls back to the right side. Different side is different. Even in a simple, 
in a supine twist like this, you might be experiencing different things dramatically. back to center, hug both knees in, draw set circles, open your knees, grab the outer edge of your feet with your hand, your arm bones, Attached with your shin bones and pull your knee towards your armpit. Press your low back into the ground so it stays long. You can rock side to side in your happy baby. Ananda Banavasana. together and release it on the floor for Supta Baddha Konasana. If you like your knees to have more support, you can put a two blocks or bloat bl uh, blanket outside of your knees just to catch them. If you feel like you missed a more back bend or chest opening, maybe cactus your arms overhead. If you like to do any other poses that you'd like to include in your practice today, please use this one and judge you. Go ahead. But make sure that you have time to include a couple more poses to cool yourself down. this is comfortable for you, feel free to stay here for your Shavasana. Otherwise, straighten your both legs. Let your knees naturally fall outside, your arms by your side. Let your body sink into what's underneath you. Try 
trust that yoga as a practice of transformation you spend more than an hour practicing practicing the transformation of your physics how are you going to bring that transformation into transformation of your mind If you haven't, close your eyes. Please do so. And just let, next to five minutes, you let your body sit. You're taking the effort. Taking the transformation. Shalasana.
if you like to. Stay in your Shavasana. You're welcome to do so. We'll proceed to Prayama, Param Pranayama, and meditation. You're also welcome to do that lying down as well. Otherwise, if you're ready to sit up, so we're going to toes, the fingers, roll up to one side. And find a comfortable seated pose. That gives you a long and straight spine. We we'll practice Nadi Shuddhana today, which means alternate nostrils breathing. Bring your right hand into Vishnu Mudra. By doing that, I mean, bring your hands into right hand into fist and release your ring finger, your pinky finger, and your thumb. And Nadi Shuddhana, we always start breathing from your left nostril. So you block your right with your thumb, breathe in through your left, block your left nostril and release your right and breathe out through your right nostril, breathe in through your right, block your right, release your left and breathe out through your left, that's one round. We always end with breathing in, um, breathing we always start with breathing through your left and breathe out through your right and breathe in through your right, then breathe out through your left. Block your right, breathe in through your left. Release your right and let it go. Let it go. Breathe in through your right. Release your right and let it go through your left. Continue on your own. You can bring a block between your right elbow and your right thigh if you feel like your right arm needs some support. And also just put your hands on your knees and imagine that you are using your right hand to block the nostrils alternatively. Maybe try to bring some of the quality into your Nadi Shodana as well. Maybe even try to make your exhalation longer than inhalation. this round, finish two more rounds. When 
when you're done, just sit with your breath. It's still your natural breath, but notice there might be some difference now compared to the beginning of the practice. Whenever you're ready to come up, bring your palms together. Take a big inhale. And exhale, let it go. One more big inhale, followed by Om. your thumbs to between your eyebrows slightly above to your third eye center. May you're able to bring the transformation that you experienced on the mat off the mat with you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I'll end the recording and let me know if you have any questions.